First league game of the season at Accrington on Saturday. Uh, it's been a long time coming. How much are you looking forward to it now? Yeah, I mean, obviously when the fixtures came out, we're in uh, St George's Park and it's exciting. It was exciting for us to see the fixtures and to finally get them, get them underway. It's um, a relief for the lads. Obviously, it's been a, a long pre-season for us, a good pre-season. Um, we've not got off to a great start with the Cup, um, but obviously that, hopefully that's out of the way. Um, you know, got back on the training ground and sorted out and what we need to sort out, I had a chat about it and, and uh, we're ready to go on Saturday. Yeah, did it feel, I know we've played behind closed doors, but when it's a competitive game, it's behind closed doors, it's a very different thing because you kind of get used to it in pre-season. Did it feel a little bit strange, a little bit, you know, taking getting used to? Was it was it a, a real, where am I going with this question, Beef? You know I, know, I know what you mean, yeah, obviously like playing in a stadium with no fans is, is very strange, um, but I think we said before, uh, the game the other day, we've, we've kind of got to make our own atmosphere and you know create that own buzz ourselves um, because usually you get get that from the fans and with them not being there, it's not not given to us. Um, so we have to create it ourselves. But you know we've, we've got the, the characters within our dressing room to, to do that. And uh, like I say, pre-season games have they're all played without behind closed doors, majority anyway. Mm. Um, you don't get many fans, so something that we're not not used to. Um, we'd, we have played plenty of games that we, with no fans there, so like I say, that that's the key thing for me, creating our own, own atmosphere and making sure it you know it gets that league game feel about it, um, and you know I'm sure we, we're well capable of doing that. Mm. There's players that come in at the top end of the pitch, there's players that come in in the midfield, um, and they'll be given probably a little bit extra license to sort of settle in. Do you feel a little bit extra pressure as a back five and goalkeeper because obviously you're quite settled in that area if the manager goes down the route where you were last season? Maybe, I mean, when you say settled, I mean, I said it when I first arrived there, you, you, I think you feel fairly settled straight away. Mm. We've got such a good group of lads here and great people around the place, um, including yourself, Phil. Thanks, uh, Mark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, in terms of settling on the pitch, uh, this season, especially, I feel as though there's not been a great deal of changes compared to last year. You know, that I think that starting eleven last mm. season was completely different to the ones that finished the season before. Whereas this season, it's quite settled in the sense that we've got six, seven that finished against Pompey last season, and you've just got a few additions to the squad. Um, so it's, I still think it's it's quite you know settled in in that sense. And lads coming in, you know, we do loads of work on the training pitch as well. Um, you know, to install that. Uh, what what the manager wants basically, and um, mm. then we can gel as as a team, and then take it out until Saturday. And uh, we know we can do that, and we'll be looking to do that tomorrow. You seem to have taken Frankie under your wing. Um, I know Sammy's come in and you know, basically mates forever and all that kind of stuff. But you seem to you know are, are trying to help him off the pitch as well as on it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean Frank's a great lad. He's there for everyone to see. Even though when Sam is here, he turns into a bit of a weirdo, but that's just him. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. I mean, he's he's still a relatively he's, he's 25, 24. Frank now, I think he's still is a relatively mm. young centre half. Um, I like to still think I'm quite young to be honest at 30, but he's you know very young. Um, but he's he's got all the attributes that a top centre half needs and uh, if he wants to come to me and ask for any help at all then he, he knows I'm there so um, but yeah I mean me and Frank have played alongside each other last last year or so fairly often and um, it's been good and uh, hopefully that can continue. I don't want to talk about last season in terms of set pieces because I know you're disappointed yourself you didn't score as many as you have there's been a change in terms of the coaching staff and I know Mark has spent a lot of time on set pieces do you feel that there is opportunities there this year to, to maybe uh, add a few more to the tally? There are definitely opportunities there. I mean, last season, um, I'd have said the exact same to you. I mean, I like to think that I'll, um, I'll get on the score sheet quite a few times in the season. I'll, I'll be doing my utmost to do that, that again. Um, I should be getting more goals than what I did, did last season. Um, I can't sit here and say that I didn't have opportunities. I, I did last season. And uh, like I said, the Robbo's come in and he's big on big on set pieces and we've done loads of work on him. Um, we'll be we'll be continuing to do that, and we've got the right size and uh, right aggression in the in, in the box, the opposition's box. So uh, we'll be we're looking to, you know, we'll be looking in that area to pick up a lot more goals than what we did last season, which would be a massive help because I think scoring from set pieces is it's massive in a season. Mm. Um, it you know it really does help you throughout the year, and uh, yeah, we'll be looking to do that. And hopefully we can get off to a good start tomorrow, and maybe notch one tomorrow. We'll see. Thankfully, no fans saw that 
fantastic air kick you did the other week in the corner. Uh, trying to get it on the volley. And, uh, I forgot about that myself, to be honest. Yeah, for, I didn't. For, it was uh, still yeah. very much in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a tough one. That was half volley, so you never know how the ball's going to skid off. Mm. You know, it's, it's one of them where you swing at it, if you connect, then you do. It maybe it goes top corner, maybe you miss. Like I did, but uh, yeah, we'll see anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll be looking to, looking to uh, get a few more goals this year. And just finally, as you said, you mentioned the game at Accrington. They've obviously um, had a big win in midweek, albeit against another 21 side in the EFL Trophy. But they've, it's, they're sort of hard side to predict because they bring in lone players who've obviously got ability and, and on the day they can cause so many problems. Yeah, they're a dangerous team. I think you know anyone going away to Accrington is going to be like, this, this is no gimme at all. They're a... Uh, they're a good team and they're a hard working team. I think they've always been that kind of team. Um, so we'll be we'll be going there um, and approaching that game as we as we would do any other game. Um, and you know, looking at their weaknesses, their strengths, and, and trying to combat them and uh, and uh, look to get that win and that first league win of the season, which you know would be fantastic for us.